anorexia. And one day he was walking along the street with a big sheet of glass and he was with his uncle. And he, he tripped over and the glass cut his uncle in half. And from then on they were known as Simon and Half Uncle. Yes, yes. Now, I was at the doctor the other day and I was reading some magazines, as you do, and I opened it up and there was a, a fantastic picture of Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall and they looked so fantastic together, they were so young looking and I think, how do these celebrities do it? And then I looked at the date on the magazine, February 5th, 1996, a 21-year-old magazine. So I went into, I got, I got to go into the doctor, the doctor called me in and he said, what can I do for you today? And I said, look, there's a 21-year-old magazine in the waiting area. And he said to me, what antipsychotic medication are you on? And when was your last delusion? And I said, no, no, it's really there. It's really there. But, you know, you wonder to yourself, why are there old magazines in the doctor's office? Why are there so many of them? It's because the doctors are so tight, because they wait for the and magazines to, to crumble to powder before they'll go out and buy a new one. Or they think, hey, most of our patients are baby boomers or Gen X. We'll just put the old magazines in there. They'll come in, they'll read them, they'll feel good, and they'll walk out. We'll get paid and we won't have to do any work at all. There. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Sometimes when I, when I go, when I, when I travel, I'm so worried about my luggage. You wouldn't believe it. I'm so worried the luggage is... I don't know, I'm so worried about losing it. So I think, why doesn't the luggage have a little brain inside it? So what, you take it in, you check it in, and when you're on the flight or whatever, you call the luggage up, you say, how are you? How's it all going? The luggage says, fine, we're having cocktails with the other luggage. And you say, have the baggage handlers fingered you? Have they opened you up? And, and, and they say, no, 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 we're fine. It's all good, it's all good. So then you get to the other end. You get to the other end. Oh, Helen, Helen, Helen. And there was a moment there where our judges were in the gong were just, just preparing at any moment. I think you just slightly overstepped the mark okay. a little bit there for an ME15 show. I had small, but anyway. <laughs> that was why you got gone, I think. I had small, but anyway. Well, let's go across to our judges and see what they thought of your performance. Um, well, yeah, you, you independent woman, you. Um, straight away, as we came out on stage, I went to be a gentleman, then you shat my soul. So, um, zero. No, I'm joking. Uh, you had confidence, and it was great. Um, my only advice is just slow down, enjoy some of the laughs. Um, you don't need to power through all the time. Um, I wanted to hear the end, to be honest. Um, but uh, tell me later. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I'm going to give you uh, give, give you a six. Uh, from the look of your hat, um, maybe you might be able to explain to me why we're not moving. <laughs> I stopped the boat, Jessica. You stopped the boat? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, so just you're, for you. You, yeah. you stopped the boat? Yes, for you. Tony Abbott's mate. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're moving, we're not moving and it's kind of rough, so if you could get back up to the bridge and uh, uh, let's go, because yeah. uh, I want to be back in Sydney by the morning. So, um, courageous, great stuff, uh, good effort. Some of those jokes were not actual jokes, they were just kind of sentences, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, well done, Seven. Good on you, good, nice work. It's interesting that, you know, you're talking about going to the doctor and when you were saying that, I was like, oh, you know, obviously something's wrong, I wonder what it is, and then you started talking about phoning up your luggage and you kind of answered that question. <laughs> Just got CDO. Yeah, uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to give you a seven. Good on you, baby. <laughs> I mean, it's very good. Uh, the magazine with the Dr. Dolphin is an excellent premise. Uh, I think you sped through and didn't quite nail down what you, you really wanted to say there. I was a little confused by the doctor's response. And I was also nervous because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use your phone on the plane. Um, that had me worried as well that you're a rule breaker. Um, <laughs> oh, 
I choose to pretend that that was sarcastic, that laugh. I thought she was just going to go buy condoms. <laughs> I hear it every day. Seven. Thank you. No, my script's all this year for Helen.